So here's a, a quick video of uh, some of my comm gear. Uh, a couple friends were uh, asking about it and I follow quite a few people into ham and uh, a few other things so thought I'd share what I have. Um, we'll start with the, the simple stuff. This is, uh, this is my uh, Midland weather radio. I just got this. Um, reason I'm into all this, uh, <clears throat> I kind of have been for some time, but uh, last year I had a tornado go through about uh, three blocks from my house. We had zero warning until uh, I looked outside and saw it. So this is my uh, attempt at a uh, little bit of early warning. It has a uh, county alert, so it'll go off with a siren and uh, uh, let me know if there's any severe weather in the area. Um, moving on, here's some, uh, some shortwave equipment. Uh, this is the Grundig Field Radio. I highly advise nobody ever purchase one of these. I hate it with a passion. It's a monster. It's it's huge. It takes D batteries, which I don't think anybody uses anymore. Uh, I'm just going to flick these lights off and see if that gets any better. Maybe a little bit better for the camera. Yeah, don't buy one of those. Uh, I have it for one purpose. Um, iPad sitting here. I use this Grundig Field Radio because it gets all everything uh, all shortwave medium wave everything right down to low am um, it it works good and it allows me to get weather facts and decode any uh, psk 31 or anything on the ipad and here's a little tip for anyone shopping for shortwave these little KDs, you can buy them on eBay. This thing is an amazing little radio. It gets everything but where the data resides. So you're not going to be able to get uh, high frequency fax or anything on these because those frequencies are skipped. It gets everything else. I have no problem with the, the built-in antenna. I'm in Canada. Listen to Cuba, listen to Mediterranean. No problem. This thing works great. You throw a long wire antenna just clip it on, which is what I actually do with that field radio, um, and uh, you can pick up anything anywhere. It, it works amazing. These things, I think, were about seven bucks shipped. I have three of them. You throw them in your backpack, throw them in the back of your car, have it in your go bag, whatever. They, It's very small, and the thing is incredibly loud. So far, I haven't managed to expend the two AA batteries as of yet, so... I'll keep you posted. It's got an alarm. Everything's uh, in Chinese on these things, but you can't expect much for under 10 bucks. Uh, works great. I, digital tuning on it works fantastic. So, uh, Like I mentioned, you can't do the HFX or PSK31 or anything fancy. So moving on to some more familiar equipment that people may have in their home or use quite frequently. Um, some FRS, GMRS units. I picked these up when I was on business in uh, Minnesota, I believe, at Walmart. Pretty cheap. Uh, probably never use them again. Um, I'll use them maybe if we go out on a trip or anything. But in a emergency situation, no need for any of those anymore. And that'll come. Uh, I'll show you what else we can do with uh, that kind of equipment. Scanner. This thing is, uh, you can buy it at the Source, Radio Shack, uh, same company. I've had this for, oh, I don't know, probably eight years. These things are great. It is non-digital. It only picks up. You can't do digital. You can't do trunking. You can't do anything fancy. I'll let you in on a little secret. You don't need to in most places. Right now, I have, uh, I don't know, 40 or 50 frequencies programmed in there. Uh, that's local ambulance and uh, local police. The local police here are digital trumped. How am I getting this? Just a tip. Police carry walkies on their person when they're outside the car. Those are generally not digital. They run on a local repeater. You just have to find the repeater and you can tune in to the entire area because they broadcast usually a very large swath. Here in southwestern Ontario, I get everything for about 400 kilometers around me. Uh, not on this specific repeater. This one's good for about 150 kilometers. Um, 
easy to get beyond that. It's works like a champ. It has a feature called close call. You throw that on, that's what they're designed for. They're packaged under this stupid NASCAR logo, whatever. You throw it on close call, you can pick up any frequency that's broadcasting and plug it into memory and research it and find it on the net. If not, well, you found a new one that nobody has. I probably have a dozen or better that uh, are not published anywhere. You can do service searches, you can go through the air bands, marine, weather, get everything you want. These things are cheap. They're about 120 bucks. That, that gives you the frequency list. And uh, as you get into the, the hobby or preparing for emergency a little bit more or whatever your motives may be, you take those frequencies, you record them. A good ma vast majority are going to be in the 2 meter 440 band, uh, such as the police repeaters, etc. That takes us to these guys. These are the Bofang. This is the UV3R. It's got a Nagoya antenna on it right now because I'm using it to listen to uh, satellite transmissions. Low Earth orbit satellites, I don't broadcast to them. I do not have my license. so. Um, that being said, disclaimer, all the transmit frequencies in the bands I can't transmit are locked out. These things can broadcast just fine on those. Uh, forget the wattage of the UV3R. The UV5R, its big brother, is a uh, 4 watt, uh, 1 watt I believe, 4 watt high power. You can broadcast on whatever frequency, police, GMRS, FRS, disclaimer again, this is only in an emergency situation, but you could uh, if you were preparing for such a thing. I just listen. So I have the police frequencies, ambulance, everything programmed into these. More often than not, I use it just to listen to the International Space Station or uh, other ham sats. Um, the Nagoya antennas, I think they're about seven bucks. Uh, you have to get a little adapter to go to this guy, the UV5R. Just got this a few days ago. This thing is amazing. The UV3R, I think you can buy right now for about 30 bucks. Shipped to your door right from just about anywhere in the world. If you are not into 2 meter, 70 centimeter radial, get one of these. You can't fail for this price. It works amazing. This little guy. Uh, get a programming cable too, it's a real bugger to program them, it's not terribly user friendly, but once you get it programmed, the thing works like a champ. Power on, you got VFO, memory mode, uh, memory mode doesn't tell you uh, in alphanumeric on this radio what channel you're on, but fortunately enough, for 50 bucks, you can now get the UV5R. I have the short antenna on it right now. Uh, incredible. I can't go through all the uh, all the things this thing can do on this video, but it, it's perfect. I have all the local frequencies programmed in that I've listened to on the scanner, with the exception of airband and blah blah blah. But it has alphanumeric. So it's very very easy to keep track of what frequency you're on. I have all the local repeaters programmed in. I did lock out the transmit capability for now, uh, as I'm unlicensed as of yet. I'm probably going to go ahead and write that ticket one of these days, but I, I don't feel the need to talk a whole lot. I just, in an emergency situation, you could. Um, the rules kind of go out the window at that point, and I'm very familiar with the rules, um, protocols. Uh, communication style it, it's not that difficult so other than a call sign I have everything I need in an emergency situation like what I had last year here where we had no cell phones no information no nothing it, it was a real bugger for about a week while the town rebuilt whereas ham guys no problem even the ones that were on FRS GMRS there was an exchange of information so other than 2 meter, 70 centimeter, this thing has a nifty other feature. You can just throw it on FM radio. Works like a champ. The FM radio is a dual watch as well, so 
whatever frequency you have pro the dual watch sorry I ran out of memory there for a moment the dual watch allows you to uh, listen to the FM radio at your campsite or whatever at the same time you can be monitoring fire police anything you want um, and if you really want to get into the heavy-duty ham this thing has full DTMF capability everything under 50 bucks this thing is I, I love it I think it's great both radios even have a flashlight sorry having some issues with the camera here um, people knock this uh, this flashlight and say oh yeah it's a goofy little feature I use this last night to navigate around my backyard it is incredibly bright both of them are uh, the UV3R has it as well tiny little radio very powerful tiny little package this thing weighs nothing you can throw it in your go bag throw it in your backpack you have a flashlight you have an FM radio uh, it's not the greatest reception even with the big Nagoya antenna but uh, for the price you can't fail these things perfect um, I'm, I just love them they're they're great between that and a scanner uh, especially with close call uh, or any other whatever the other patented terms are find your frequencies program them in done deal and then you can move up to something like this um, I brought this out of my uh, my shack this is my president HR 2510 this thing uh, you would think it's just a CB it's not you can do uh, you can do quite a bit more including uh, <laughs> uh, for those that want to you can go on the free bands um, full 10 meter access everything this goes great for the PSK 31 uh, digital for those who don't know what that is um, it's, a, it's a digital mode of uh, a transmission that you can decode with just about any laptop or computer or iPad or phone and uh, it works great that's what I actually use this the most for I don't find CB that interesting or uh, I'm not big fan of how uh, <laughs> uh, vulgar it is it's it just doesn't interest me there's no professionalism there but you get onto the the 10 meter, um, even into the the free band. The guys are great. Um, Google it if you want to know what that is. 27 triple five. You can uh, you can listen to your heart's content. Routinely listen to uh, um, England. Uh, sometimes it can catch uh, Northern Africa, Italy, um, and especially South America. Lots lots of contacts there. I don't generally transmit. The mic is removed now, as it is usually. I, I don't have my license to transmit on uh, on the handbands, so I'm not about to do it. But it's good fun to listen, uh, great for gathering in information and whatnot. But uh, that's basically the extent of it. Uh, for anybody interested in getting into it, get yourself a shortwave. You can do amazing things. Get yourself a cheap scanner. You can find what you would have never known was there. And then uh, get yourself one of these. Get yourself uh, a few of these. These UV3Rs, dirt cheap. Throw them in your vehicle. Throw them in your go bag. Program them. I have these two cloned, essentially. They're the exact same layout. I can leave one of these with the girlfriend. She knows exactly what channel to tune to if I need to. And uh, I can reach her one heck of a long way away compared to these little things. Uh, this, that would only be an emergency situation. Or if we were both to get our ham licenses, well, so be it. Uh, all the local repeaters programmed in. Uh, not a lot of traffic in my area. Actually, very few hams. Um, it's kind of sad, really. But uh, looking to revive it, and I'll make some contacts and see where it goes. So, anyway, that's... Uh, some uh, prep uh, SHTF uh, com gear that anybody can afford. I bought this thing for right about a hundred bucks. If you can ever find one for that price, you can't fail. These things are a great radio and they are repairable. If you take it apart, it is not surface mount technology in there. Uh, downrange, 40 years, you can still replace components. Uh, these ones, not so much. 
for the price of them, they're throwaway. But uh, very durable. This thing is just tough as nails. I'm I'm super impressed with them for the price. Unbelievable what we can get now. But uh, also buy one of your, buy yourself one of the seven dollar uh, short waves. Actually, buy yourself two of them, three of them. Give one to the wife. Give one to the girlfriend. Can't fail. Anyway, thanks for watching.